This is Boiler Dan One. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to review this soldering gun that I just purchased and I'm using on some of my hobbies. If this is the first time you've ever visited my channel, I do a lot of things on things that I've purchased and I actually use. And uh, I'll do a follow up if it ends up not working. But to start with, I'm very happy with this little soldering gun. So let me show you uh, how it went together and how well it works to get started. I just purchased this what's called a full join soldering iron kit and I used it one time but I was happy enough with it I thought I would do a video on it so you get the gun a couple of tweezers and this is a solder remover I've never seen such a thing it's probably for circuit boards but you would push this in I guess then melt the solder push it and it'll uh, suck up the solder which I figured that out but I put my finger here and it uh, sucks the solder in that tube don't know that I'll ever use that, but let me uh, show you how this worked out. First thing I did was put the solder wheel on the gun itself, and it was simple. It just uh, fits on this holder. So the first step was to attach this wheel of solder to this bracket, and then make sure that the solder is going to go over the top through this little hole. So that's the way that goes. I'll go ahead and put this in place. On the back side there's a port that you can have access to the inside. You'll need to open this. I had a little bit of trouble doing this. I ended up taking a screwdriver. I couldn't get it with my thumb. But that'll pop that and open it up. You can see a little wiring inside and there is a mechanism that you need to have the solder follow to get into a tube down here. This I discovered is movable. So see I've pulled it out so it's actually away from the housing. So I'm going to leave it out just a little bit. Then it was just a matter of feeding this solder into this little tube. Gently slide it in and hopefully you can see but down inside there it's just coming through. Once it reaches these uh, feeder circles, you'll feel a little resistance and then you can use the trigger and it'll start advancing the solder. And you're going to want to watch for it coming out the other side. There it goes. I don't think I had it to start with. If you're not careful, it'll wrap all the way around, and you do not want that. That's probably why they gave me the tweezers, because I think that's what has happened. So that was the tricky part I ran into the last time also, when I first used it. Yep, that's what I've done. There, I got that out. So you don't want the solder. It'll automatically curve around there so you need to watch very carefully that that doesn't happen. Now I'm just going to snap that little piece of solder off and now I need to straighten this piece out. There's another little funnel right down in there so you need to aim for that so you need to, to uh, guide it to that direction. Okay, now it's going there. Now I'm going to watch for it to come out this end. Okay, I see it coming out. And you may not have to do this part. This, on mine, maybe it should have been connected. So I'm going to make sure it goes in that tube. It's in the tube, so now I can push the tube back into the handle and now just crank it until it comes out this end. There it just came out. So now I can stop. This can go back in place.
Now I'm going to plug the unit in. And I haven't run it very long. I just did it a little bit to test it. But the first time you turn it on, it will smoke out of these vents. So we'll see if it does it this time. The on-off switch is at the top. The straight line is on. The circle is off. That's kind of an international symbol for on and off. It only took about a minute for it to heat up. And I use it in model ship building. And I use real uh, miniature lights with real fine small wires. And I always need to have a second hand. Or I should say I need to have a third hand. So this will help because it holds the solder for you. And right now, I know this doesn't look like much, but I'm making something to hold what are called dead eyes. And I want to solder this wire together. I'm going to put a little flux on it so it'll stick good. And see how it works. So you can see the solder moving out towards the tip, reaches the tip, it melts. I'll go ahead and shut it off. And I do have a stand for this, so it didn't necessarily come with a stand, I don't think. I haven't looked. Um, and it does, it does hold it above the bench so that none of the metal is touching this uh, paper on my workbench. But here's the piece that I made, and it's well soldered. And I just thought, you know what? That deserves to be shown. So that is it. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of the video if you're interested. It was less than $20. It was on sale, so um, pretty happy with it. That's it on the soldering gun. And as always, thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I would encourage you to do so. It helps me out as a YouTube producer. If you want to try and check out all my videos, I think if you do a search for Boiler Dan 1, uh, you'll, uh, you'll see a whole list of things that I've made. Most of my work is on model ships that I build, and you can see an example of one behind me now. Those are the more extensive videos, but anytime I purchase something that I think might be helpful to anyone, I'll try and make a video on it. And I'll follow up if it doesn't work out. This is Boiler Dan 1, and as always, thanks for watching.